good safety, and then faith does, but there's still a warfare that takes place. There's still attacks that happen. The third thing the Lord said in the next verse, there was a, a servant who was tending a field, and he did not tend it correctly. And the master came back to look at it, and the master said, well, it's not producing. I'll just cut it down. And then the, the servant spoke up, and he said, uh, Master, let me go till it and dung it and, and do what I should have been doing all along. Uh, so he had been uh, negligent in taking care of that. And uh, when men fail to be diligent, the Lord said, that's the reason I wrote so much in Ecclesiastes, Proverbs, and the Song of Solomon about diligence, uh, about the ant, about all of the different yes. things that talk about being diligent because a failure to be diligent in our labor and our efforts can open the door sometimes for an attack. Wow. Uh, then the fourth thing the Lord said, uh, the next verse says, Jesus was teaching in the temple on the Lord's day and a woman for 18 years, just like the, the Tower of Siloam mm -hmm. had 18 men, for 18 years had been bound by a demon of affliction, of sickness, and the Bible says by a spirit of infirmity. And the Lord said the fourth reason is because of demons that are in the earth. But God gives us power over those things. Mm -hmm. But in the rare occasions when it doesn't feel like faith has worked and a person's in faith, they immediately go to heaven and their works follow, the scripture says. And I discussed that in the book. Wow, so did that bring you peace? Because you're probably saying, God, why? Why my daughter? Sure. Uh, well, we understand it is the warfare. Nothing, nothing removes the tears and the pain mm -hmm. and the longing, but it, it doesn't help you, it doesn't help you uh, regain the past. It does help you gain your future if you get some answers. Nothing removes the hurt, but it does help you to heal and uh, to heal correctly because you're either going to heal good or heal bad. It's like kingdom therapy, if I can use that term. You know, the Word of God is, is health and it's good mental health as well as good physical health mm -hmm. to you and spiritual health. And so when it's applied that way, when, when I shared that with Perry Stone, who, who forwarded our book, uh -huh. uh, in it he says that it's the greatest revelation that he's ever heard uh, in the scripture. And I discuss it at length there and I think you'll see it there. You know, so many times people blame God and you may be watching and that may have happened to you, something bad. Well, God took them or how many funerals do we go to? And it says, you know, God gives life yeah. and then God took and need another angel in heaven. But That's you know, the Lord it. spoke to me about that, Dorothy. That is so not it. That is not it. And here's what God said. I'm too wise to make a mistake and I love you too much to hurt you. So it couldn't have been me that made it happen. That's right. Hey, we're going to talk more about this when we come back. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Enduring a tragedy no parent should, the loss of a child. Pastor Walter Hollum shares candidly his personal story of the loss of his daughter in the big why. Pastor Hollum reveals how he overcame grief and was able to recover from his nightmare experience. Have questions answered by Pastor Walter, who had a divine visitation with Jesus Christ in regards to some of life's toughest and greatest questions. Through this powerful read, your life will be transformed into triumph and great comfort will fill your life as questions you have had for many years are answered. The Big Why is available today for this Buy the Book offer of $22.99. Simply call 888-7 725-8033 or go to buythebook.tv and request offer number 231. Simply call 888-725-8033 or go to buythebook.tv and request offer number 231. Buy the book today. If you would like to receive your copy of today's edition of Buy the Book, please be sure to call 888-725-8033 and ask for today's offer number on the screen. DVDs are $14.95 plus shipping and handling and come with four total episodes per DVD. Order your DVD of Buy the Book today and call 888-725-8033. Welcome back to Buy the Book. We've been talking with Walter Hallman, and he's written a book, The Big Why. And again, just before we left, in just a few minutes, we said, God doesn't do that. He said he loves you too much to take your daughter. Yes, you know, God receives our loved ones into heaven, but he doesn't take them like that. 
uh, several things happened to us, Dorothy, in this particular experience. That, uh, and we're still learning and growing because this was eight and a half years ago. And I've heard people say, well, you must grieve when something like that happens. You know, it's impossible to not hurt uh, because yeah. half of your soul has been Ripped. torn apart. Mm -hmm. And it takes time for your soul to grow back together. But one of the first things the Lord spoke to me after this happened, and it, um, it, it's probably what anchored me at that time. Uh, in Isaiah 53, 3, it says, Surely He has borne our grief and carried our sorrow. Mm -hmm. And that happened at Calvary. Because, you know, verse 5 says, He was wounded for our transgressions and bruised for our iniquities. Yes. Speaking of, of uh, Isaiah prophesying what happened at Calvary, you know, hundreds of years in advance. And so the Lord said to me, You must resist grief the way I did at Calvary. I bore it, but it was under the curse. So anything that I did at Calvary for you, just like forgive your sins, remove your iniquity, healing by the stripes on His back. He said, grief is something that comes, but you have to learn how to resist it correctly. And God began to talk to me about when grief would come, that I was to praise God and just to worship. Now, I'm a, I'm a full-blown Holy Ghost charismatic, all right? Yeah. I have zero qualms about this. And there is a prayer that's beyond words. And one of the great joys of praying in the Holy Spirit uh, is you pray what you do not know how to pray. Right. Romans 8, you know, says that. So my wife Cindy and I, would we would take hands together, go upstairs in our game room, and we would just walk back and forth, weeping and sobbing and just praying and bringing it to God. And when I didn't have natural words, we would just pray in tongues. We would pray in the Spirit until a balm of Gilead, and I talk that about that peace. in the book, would begin to come into our soul and allow us to move forward another, another day, another minute, mm -hmm. learning how to think the thoughts of God in the midst of that pain is the most valuable thing yes. anyone can have, and I talk yes. about that in the book, yes. I dropped my daughter off at Rama mm -hmm. at Bible school, and there was a murder in the apartment right near her. Yes. And I didn't want to leave her because mm. of what just had happened in right. that apartment. And then we had to go. So my son and I prayed in the Holy Ghost for miles, and all of a sudden I saw an angel with a flaming sword yes. crossed in front of her door and one hovering over her bed. And I had the greatest peace. God does that for us, doesn't He? He sure does, Dorothy. And you know, the Bible calls that in, in Philippians a peace that passes it's understanding, mm -hmm. or it doesn't make natural sense, but it makes spiritual, spiritual sense. sense. And it's as yeah. real to you when God gives you a revelation like that. One of, the, uh, one of my dear friends who's uh, in heaven today, of uh -huh. course, was Dr. Oral Roberts. Oh, I and Dr. Him. Roberts said to me uh, the day after this accident when he called me from uh, California and talked a long time to my wife and I, because his daughter died in an airplane uh -huh. accident, if you recall. He said to me, God will speak to you in dreams and visions, uh, Walter. He said, so in the course of time, God will visit you. No truer words were ever spoken to me. And that helped yeah. you too, didn't it? It absolutely uh, did. And, his, and my wife and I and our other two daughters, we never missed a day. Uh, they were all full of tears. Mm -hmm. I've preached every message since then. I preached them in the pulpit. Probably the worst messages I ever spoke during that season, yeah. but I did it anyway. Did it. I wouldn't let the devil have a victory. And that's part and, of it too, isn't yes, it? Yes, that's right. Because if we just sit, there is a grieving process, but if you just let it overtake you, yeah. then it seems like he wins. He gets you That's off right. course and he wins. Yeah, because I, I thought Angela never gave me one day of problem in life. And I wasn't going to let her home going be anything mm -hmm. less than glorious. Uh, she would have never wanted me to, be, to take a step back. Mm -hmm. And so through all of this horrible pain, and you know, we're not made out of concrete and steel. No. We're, we're flesh, and blood. flesh and blood. And we hurt deep, you know, when things like that happen. And people are watching you today, Dorothy, mm -hmm. that some of them, it's a fresh memory, and others it happened years ago, and they've never embraced eternity. Let me say one quick thing to you that Jesus said to 